Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be looking at 1 Timothy chapter 3. Qualifications for Overseers and Deacons. Here is a trustworthy saying, whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task, Now the overseer is to be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, uh, not a lover of money. He must manage his own family and see that his children obey him. He must do so in a manner worthy, worthy of full respect. If anyone does not know how to manage his own family, How can he take care of God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become conceited and fall under the same judgment as the devil. He must also have a good reputation with outsiders, so that he will not fall in disgrace into the devil's trap. In the same way, deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine, and not pursuing dishonest gain. They must keep hold of the deep truths of the faith with a clear conscience. They must first be tested, and then if there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. In the same way, the women are to be worthy of respect, not malicious talkers, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. A deacon must be faithful to his wife and must manage his children and his household well. Those who have served served well, gain an excellent standing and great assurance in their faith in Christ. So this part of chapter 3 is just saying that people that have leadership in the church or people that are calling themselves pastors or overseeing a group of people, they need to watch what they do in life and set standards for themselves that are higher than others. Um, and it includes many different things. So that's what this is talking about. Now for this, the last part of chapter three, reasons for Paul's instructions, verse 14. Although I hope to come to you soon, I am writing you in these instructions so that if I delayed, you will know how people ought to conduct themselves in God's household, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of the truth. Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in flesh, was vindicated by spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed in the world, was taken up into glory. So this message from Paul is showing an example for for Jesus, that Jesus was on earth, and did those things that he expects his leaders to do as well. So if Christ was above reproach on earth, his leader should also attempt to be above reproach as well. Now keep in mind, not everyone's perfect. There's going to be pastors and deacons and leaders in the church that fail sometimes. They're going to make mistakes. They just have to make sure they hold themselves accountable and actually um, try to hold those standards as much as they can. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will be reading chapter two next.